Rick Labby, and we're here at my place, and we got this great lineup of bucks today that Brian Ross, my buddy Brian Ross, bought, and uh, Ron Bushy. Boone and he was a former Bruin and Crockett scorer, so we're gonna go through this line of bucks. Hopefully I don't screw it up, but we'll try to go through as best as I can. But right here, this is the Hill Boom Buck from Maine. And you can see the score on this, 259 and 08. Brian Ross is the owner. This was shot in 1910 in Washington County. This is one of the most famous bucks ever killed in the state of Maine. Just like moose horns, that's what we always called it, the moose buck, because we had web down. Pretty cool. This one here, this is killed in uh, Clay County, Iowa. 1973, this is the Larry Ravelin buck. And at the time when Larry killed this, this was the number two non-typical in the world. And right now it's number 18, it's still in the top 20. And uh, two, 282 inches, it's an amazing deer. And this is, this is my favorite main buck, probably everybody's favorite main buck. This is the Fred Goodwin buck. We all call the Silver Ridge Buck. And that's Fred Goodwin right there. He signed it in 2004 before he died. But this is the, probably the most historical buck ever killed in Maine. I don't know the score of the Fred Goodwin Buck off the top of my head, but very impressive. This buck was from Nova Scotia. And I think it's, this is the, the number two, or was the former number two from Nova Scotia, Verdon Baker, 222, shot 1949. Another impressive buck. You can tell he looks like a main buck, kind of a coast. You can tell he's a coastal buck, because those coastal bucks get that webbing on their horns as they get older. Most deer to get that webbing got to be between seven, eight, nine years old. Come over here, and this is the Winkler Buck. Brian Ross owns this one, my buddy Brian. She killed 1983 in Indiana. That's 194 inch typical. Look at the spread on that deer. Pretty impressive. We got one last main buck right here. This is the Joseph Violetti Buck. Killed in 1936, 226 inches. You can look at the weapon and the points in that, he's very impressive deer. Can't imagine walking up to that deer. Unbelievable mass. So then, now these these are Ron, Ron brought these bucks to the show. And this, is, this is the world record. This is the Milo Hansen buck right here. This is the current world record right now. Shot in Saskatchewan. Then the, the Milo Hansen buck actually beat out the James Jordan buck. James Jordan held the world record from 1914, 206 and an eighth. I think the, the Hansen buck was 213 and some change, if I remember right. But that's James Jordan right there. He had sold that deer 40 years or so prior, and somehow somebody he knew, they got it back, and James got his picture with his buck before he died, which is very cool. But this was the world record from 1914 up until 1993, James Jordan held the world record. That's the one impressive deer. I, I can remember that from the time I was five years old, you know, seeing the pictures of that buck. Very historic. And here is the Mel Johnson buck. This is shot in 1965 with a bow, and it's still the current world record with a bow. And you think about all the technology today, all the, all the scopes, the, the compound bows, 
tree stands, you name it. And Mel Johnson shot this from the ground in 1965, I believe, with a longbow. That's all we had back then. But he's still the world record bow kill. It's very impressive. Then the last one, which this should be the world record. Ron believes it should be the world record. This is the King Buck, the Larry King Buck. Scores 218 and four eights. And a bunch of controversy with Boone and Crockett. And it's not the world record because of the splits in the G2 and the G3. And in my opinion, it should have been the world record. A lot of people's opinion, it should be the world record. That deer has 11-inch uh, brows on it. Just overall, most impressive buck I've probably ever laid eyes on right there. Look at the main frame on him. But that's the Larry King buck. Shot that 2006. Pretty good party. We've got a great lineup of bucks. We got one more buck over here, Joe. That's uh, a Boone and Crockett from Maine. We want to go look at that. So here's another Maine. And look at the bases on this deer. This rack weighs 10 pounds. And it's one of the very few 10 pound racks that ever made Boone and Crockett. Usually when a deer gets that heavy, they don't make Boone and Crockett because they get so heavy, the points get shorter. It's from Maine. Pretty impressive. There's a cell phone in here on the table if somebody's. So hope to all see you on in the woods this fall. We'll be chasing some big ones. Keep you posted. Till then, adios.